it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Dollar Tree haul. Yes y'all, a Dollar Tree haul and I am so excited to be here with you guys today. So I am going to jump into this haul as usual. If you are new, I hope you stay and subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. And thank you to all my current subscribers. I love you guys. And if you want to, check me out on Instagram at thriftytiffany35. And I have a food Instagram, which is taste.of.tiffany of all the food that I cook and prepare. So definitely check me out over there as well if you like my content here on YouTube. I am going to jump in because I am so excited. I have so many different items from food to hygiene to beauty to fall. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna jump in. I will start with socks. So you're gonna start with some socks. I Dollar Tree always carries this brand Snugadoo too. And this is what it looks like. Y'all, they have these pastel colors right now and they are gorgeous. And y'all, these are the soft cushiony socks kind of like this sweatshirt right here, and it is about to be fall, supposed to be fall here in Georgia. It's still so hot, but I'm wearing a sweater to pretend that it's fall right now. I am so in the fall spirit. Um, so I grabbed these Snugadoo socks. These are yellow and white stripes. These are so cute, look at them. Then I got this like coral color with white. Y'all, these are so comfy. I got these for Kaya and I and they're so comfy and comfortable. And when it does get cold, it's nice to wear these snugged up against the fireplace. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love these socks. And plus these are great little gifts, stocking stuffers, just gifts for people, put in gift baskets or just to give to a friend, just to make them feel warm and cozy. Who doesn't love the warm and cozy? So I grabbed those two. Also, I grabbed some socks for Kaya. She loves ankle socks as well as Nike socks. My boys only wear Nike socks, but she likes ankle socks just like myself. And Dollar Tree has some decent ankle socks. Y'all, these are men's and she has kind of a big foot. <laughs> like it's a skinny long foot. But anyway, she's so tall. That's why she has a bigger foot. But I buy her the men athletic socks. You get three pair. They are thin. They're thin socks, but they're really nice. And as much as I buy socks, three for a dollar is amazing. So I grabbed her the black ones and I'll show you up close what they look like. And please excuse my nails. They're not done right now, but I got grabbed her the black pair. Again, you get three. And this is what the tag says is athletic. And I grabbed her the white ones. So you can see the white and it has this like little snug part in the middle. It's arch support is what it's called. So I got the white and I got the gray. And y'all, you get three for a dollar, three. And it's a decent ankle sock. It's a decent, plain, basic ankle sock. You can't beat it, especially when these kids mess up these socks all the time. I thought it was just when they were toddlers that they would mess up socks, but so we go through socks like crazy. They either get lost, messed up. So pick them up when you're at Dollar Tree. Might as well, it's a dollar. Let's jump in to some other items. I got some beauty hygiene items like that. They have new picks, y'all. I love flossers, and these are charcoal flossers. This one's by RM Oral um, Detox Gums. It's angled pick, slippery floss, and comfort grip. And I am so excited for these. Yes, excited over floss. I keep these literally in my car, in my purse, and in my bathroom. And the kids love them also. It's always good to keep these on hand and you get 50. And I just like how sleek they are because they're black. I love them. So yes, very good deal in the uh, oral department at Dollar Tree. Definitely check those out. So I grabbed a couple of those. Um, I grabbed some black onyx files. You get a lot, you get one, two, three, four, five. Five onyx professional files which I have never seen these at Dollar Tree. It says help prevent splits, chips, and cracks. And this is just a natural for natural and artificial nails. Create salon nails. And again, you get five, as you can see in there, five, five files in there for a dollar. And these are brand name. So I picked them up. It's always good to have these on file. I actually need them to file my nails from when I had my acrylics on. So I need, I actually need to do that. I also found more of the flower um, brand, which is Drew Barrymore, her brand of makeup. So I found a different TM6. This is shade TM6, and this is Tinted Moisturizer. 
The other one I have bought was, I believe, BB cream, but this is actual tinted moisturizer. And somebody actually gave me a good tip was to mix it with the lighter color and it would it could be my shade. But this is actually not too dark. It could be like a bronzing cream, but it's tinted moisturizer, shade TM6, and it is flower. And this is the brand by Drew Barrymore which is so crazy that Dollar Tree has that. And there, she's still coming out with products at the Dollar Tree. There's still more floating around and I love it when I can pick them up. They also had flower nail polish and look at this like slate blue color, gorgeous. Let me see what if it's in P23 blue, blue bell, good old country blue bell. So that's the name of it is blue bell bell can't talk as usual, but these are so pretty. I love this color. Look at that. I love this blue. That's such a pretty color. So I grabbed a couple of these. Also, she had some more of the eyeliner. This is waterproof liquid eyeliner, and this is the color olive green. I have never seen olive green eyeliner, but I thought this is gorgeous. I love this color green. I don't really use eyeliner a lot, so I might save this for a future giveaway, but it is gorgeous. And for the fall, I could just see this on someone looking so beautiful. So I did pick it up. And this is Jessie Girl. Sorry, I thought this was flower. This is by Jessie's Girl. Jessie's Girl. She is a brand name too. She is a brand name. Jessie's Girl. I have some of her other eyeliners and I believe powder. So definitely if you see these, scoop these brand names up when you see them at the Dollar Tree, y'all. I'm serious gotta get them while they're there or they won't be there anymore um also i got these elf other brushes these are lip defining brushes y'all i am i love when i come across all the elf brushes at dollar tree they have all different kinds and elf is such a good brand it's it's i love it because it's what do you call it what am i trying to say y'all i'm always lost for words when i'm doing a haul it's affordable, it's affordable. That's what I'm trying to say. It is affordable and then you can get it at the Dollar Tree, even better. So I thought this was really cool. Of course, I will use one in a future giveaway, always do. Always wanna share them for you guys that don't get them in your Dollar Trees. I um, also found some more Freeman Beauty. These are Beauty Infusion Moisturizing Hydrogel Mask. So I have several of their other masks, but I don't have this one. This one, I believe is, yeah, coconut milk and hyaluronic acid. Instantly boosts hydration, restores radiance. And I am so excited for this. Serum infused hydro mask. So I have two of these and I cannot wait to try them. I can't. Now, onto a new product by Dollar Tree, which is an April showers product. And my phone is dying on me, like always. <laughs> Um, they have these new, I'm about to open one. They have these new cleansing facial scrubbers and helps remove impurities from clogged pores. So I am kind of excited to see how this works. I am going to open this right now because on the back it shows, the lady at the checkout was asking me like, how does that work? So it's this little spongy thing and it has like a little sponge inside of there. And this is like a silicone, silicone bristles says wet face with warm water remove and wet sponge add your favorite cleanser or scrub i guess into here squeeze scrubber produce a lather gently massage scrubber on a face so yes you fill this with water and you apply your cleanser like it gives you the directions back here but i thought this was really cool i'm really gonna have to try this out i was excited i cannot wait to try that out so I'll let you guys know how that works or I might do a video. Who knows? If I have time to do that, I will do, definitely do a video. Um, I found that these new little squirters, they've been out for a little bit. They have gorgeous colors right now, like a rose gold and a pink. They are so pretty. And these are really nice little hair. You can use it for your hair. You can do, use it for cleaning products. But these are so pretty. They're like metallic. I love it. I love them. Also in the beauty stuff, they have lash glue the um lash brand that we have that we always get for kaya the lashes that ioni i believe ioni everlasting now they have the glue so i got kaya several of these and it's just a whole huge container bigger than the ones by la colors so i definitely wanted to stock up for kaya so she had plenty 
Also, they had some uh, like Halloween nails by LA Colors, which are glow in the dark and are glows in black light. Okay, so these are the purple and these are the pink and they glow in a black light. Who remembers black lights? When I was a teenager, black lights were so huge. I And every time you wore white, you like glue, your teeth glue in the, it was crazy. But yes, I loved a good old black light. I don't even know, I'm sure they have those still. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, what else do we have? I have so much stuff. Oh, Pantene. Pantene has this detangling milk. It's leave-on detangling milk. This is a pretty small bottle. It's three fluid ounces infused with argon oil. But I got this for Kaya to try. It does smell really good. It smells really good. And I just thought this would be perfect because it says preps and strengthens hair for styling by detangling and softening curls for dry and damaged hair. So I got this for her to try to see if she likes and we will see. Also, I have this, this is not really in the beauty. This is a grill scrubber, definitely not beauty related, but it is a brand name by, this is the brand but it is a grill scrubber. Pick them up if you need them. This could also clean your stove probably. I believe, I don't think it'll be too heavy duty. No grease left behind, unique shape for great cleaning. Not recommended for delicate surfaces. Test first. Okay, so uh, probably just the grill, maybe just the grill or anything very hard, um, but it's cool that you can grip it just like this and cleanse it. I got several of these, this is great stuff when you have men in your life if they have a grill if you have a griller just to give these to them these are it's sometimes it's hard y'all to come up with gifts at dollar tree for men sometimes you know us women we are kind of satisfied with the candle with something in the beauty with a face mask and stuff like that so when you do see things like these scoop them up these could be good stocking stuffers or gift back gift gift basket gifts um, for your men in your life. Just keep them on hand for Father's Day, things like that. When you see items, name brand items like this, especially if it's for a grill or something real manly. I don't know. I mean, I use the grill too and I'm a woman. I'm not saying there's a, you know, preference there, but when you do see them, keep them for men in your life because they're really good gifts to add into different gifts. Just like these, they're all black. This would be cute, you know, give this to a man in your life. I just think those are really good. Your teens, your college kids, stuff like that, just save them for that. That's what I like to do. Also found some antibacterial wet wipes. These are fresh scent and there are 40 in here and this is by the Assured brand. And every time I see an antibacterial wet wipe, I pick them up just to keep in the car um around the house they're convenient and i love having them on hand especially when you go grocery shopping wiping down the cart and i just picked up a couple of those i just have to keep them on hand and you kind of want to have a stock of those now don't want to get caught without them now i do have some more scrunchies i have more scrunchies and these are the sherpa look at this they're the sherpa texture this is so in in like the fall time and the winter time when you wear the little Sherpa jackets and hoodies and your teenagers may wear them. But y'all, these are the softest Sherpa I have ever felt. The black, the brown, and the pale pink. You gotta love pale pink, y'all. So I love these colors. They're so cute and definitely scoop them up while they're there. When they come out with these products, y'all, there's only a little bit. So just scoop them up when you can. So I got one of each color. I also grabbed these. These are like velvet, but ribbed. They're ribbed velvet. Again, the colors of pink, tan, and black. And these are gorgeous. I am obsessed with scrunchies and I'm obsessed with these colors and the textures. I love them. And for a dollar, you cannot beat it. Seriously, you'll make somebody really happy buying those. Also, I found this headband. Look at this headband. It is so fall, so cute, and winter because it's black, tan, and like a that orange color that I love, the rust color. Y'all, I am obsessed with this headband right here. It is gorgeous. So I picked up one of them. It is like a silk texture, but this is so cute. The knot makes it everything. I am obsessed with it. You can wear it with your hair up. You can wear it with your hair down. I love that one. They also had a different one. I think it was like blue and it was really pretty. I, I just put it back. I'm like, ah, I'll probably just wear this one. I have a lot of colors that match this one. So I just picked up one. Let's see, where do we go? Oh, they have new hand soap. 
Juicy Suave Orange. It's Juicy Orange Liquid Hand Soap. It smells like hand soap, nothing extra. I just picked it up because we needed some good old hand soap for the bathrooms. Also, in the toy department, they had these. Again, you guys know I pick up toys just for gifts at the end of the year. And this is a Disney brand, Elena. And I think it's a show that's out. And these, I cannot believe they have these little shoes for a dollar when Kyle was growing up. They were not a dollar. They were definitely not a dollar, but these are so cute. Look at them. Oh my goodness. And Halloween is so close. Pick them up if you know any little babies. I also found, oh, here's some candy since it's in my hand. They have these Sour Jacks. And I've actually tried some. They're really good. It says visit our world on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. They're just called Sour Jacks. They're not really sour. To be honest, they're not really sour. This is wild berry. So I'll pick those up. I've already tasted some. Um, let's see. I also grabbed these. I told you guys I love to keep balloons on hand for birthday parties when I see them. I think the last one I hauled was B Day, like a big B dash day. And then this is the happy. So I got one in gold, one in silver. These will definitely be used over the years, over this year. It will get its use, but I got a big happy, and these are 37 inch. Oh, it's 37 inches long. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it meant the height. I was like, wow. Easy to inflate, use included straw to, uh, to blow up. So I thought that was really cool. So I picked those up now. Y'all, I got some fall candles. I hauled the wax melts already, and I have been using them over there. If you saw my fall haul and that cracking noise that I kept hearing, it was one of the Dollar Tree candles. What happened was the wick, it was all, all the way down. I had burned it all the way down, and the wick was near the glass. Like, it wasn't in the middle anymore. It was near the glass, and the glass was cracking. So, definitely be careful with them little candles, especially if it's way down low. That was the cracking noise. Everyone was like, oh my goodness, what is it? Um, so that's what it was, but I already threw those away. Um, so I did found the candles, which is the Harvest and Hay Rides. I love these. Oh, the smell. So I got the wax warmer melts and I did get me a wax warmer. It's right there. It's from Aldi and I wanted an electric one. I know Dollar Tree has the tea lit ones. I knew they had those, but I wanted an electric one and I did get one from Aldi. They had one, what was it? A couple weeks ago and I picked it up. So, and the smell of those do of the Dollar Tree wax melts go all through the house. So I love them. So this is the Harvest Hay Rides, the same scent as the wax melts that I got. That's Kaya again. <laughs> She's becoming the person that flips through. Everyone on my last haul was like, "You have somebody in your house?" <laughs> I said, "Yes, it's my daughter." Um, so this is the Harvest Hay Rides, and these are in the mason jar. And then I got the. Toasted Marshmallow, which is always a good scent. Always, always, always a good scent. Y'all, these smell so good, I'm telling you. And this is the one that I have in my wax warmer right now that has my whole house smelling like fall, y'all. I'm telling you, and I'm sweating because I have a sweatshirt on and it's hot as I don't know what in Georgia. But this one makes my house smell so good. And this is Rake Pile Leap, y'all. This smells good, the wax melt, so I know this is gonna smell good. I love fall scents. It's just, it just feels comfortable. <laughs> it just feels comfortable, warm and cozy. Okay, so while we're on fall, I have some fall uh, greenery, fall flowers, stuff that I'm gonna put together a little fall arrangement for the house, or I may put them in different areas. Um, so I got, of course, some of these pumpkin stems. I love this color right here. It's that burnt orange that I'm going for in my living room with the navy blue. So I got that one. I think I got a couple more of those. Let me get them all together. I got a couple, I got four. Four of the pumpkin stems. I could do a whole little vase of these. You could put these on a wreath. Um, it looks really pretty, y'all. It looks really natural as far as the um, leaves and stuff. So I picked these up and it is called pumpkin filler is what it's called. So I grabbed those. Then I also grabbed a, one of these, yeah, one of these, and this is wheat. So I picked this wheat up. I love the brown right there, so pretty. And then I got some of these cattails, and I love this mustard. It's got like mustard and orange in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a mustard yellow and a burnt orange in the yellow, which I love, so fall. And then I got these, which I love. These are foxtails. 
And this goes with the same, it's like orange, burnt orange in with like a mustard yellow. It's so pretty and it's so fall. And you could put this in one of those amber vases that I have. And how pretty is that going to be in one of those amber vases? And I also got some of this status, I guess it's called. And it's like yellow with the burnt orange. So I grabbed that one as well to make a whole floral fall arrangement. What kitty is that? That's Big Ella right there. Ella! Oh, she's going to run. That was, I think that was Big Ella. I don't think that was Baby Kitty. Um, also, I found some yarn. And this is gorgeous. Look at the colors in this yarn. It's like a purplish, grayish, brown, tan. I don't know, but it's gorgeous. And this is huge. This thing is large. 89 yards, 3.5 3. ounce. It is huge. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I had to grab it because of the colors and for how big it was for a dollar. So I scooped it up. Sometimes I don't really know, but I'm going to find something to do with that. I promise you. I also found these two bulbs. Now Dollar Tree has had these big bulbs here for a while. These are huge. They're like little globes, bulbs or circles. And I got two new lamps for in my living room that right now have an Edison bulb in it. But this looks, the Edison bulb is like a, it's kind of a brighter light. It's, I don't know, it's like a brighter, warmer light. But I want to try these and that lamp and I'll have to show you what it looks like. It is stunning. And this is the brand. But Dollar Tree has had this for, for a while now. My stores just still have them in stock. I guess a lot of people don't have a, the exact lamp to use with these big old bulbs. But I do and I grabbed two of them. So that was definitely a steal because the Edison bulbs were like $4 from Aldi. Actually, they were $5 each and these were a dollar. I should have just went with these first. But I was trying to go for that whole vintage Edison modern uh, farmhouse look, I guess. That's what you call it. <laughs> now, I found some new Premier Protein. Y'all, these are, it's called uh, Smooth and Creamy Shake with Oats. So I don't think it actually has the oats in it because it still shows it smooth and creamy. Um, it's 20 grams protein and it's basically apple cinnamon with oats. So I grabbed this, four of these and I still grabbed two of the caramel ones. So this is the ones I've been getting and then this one. I wanted the boys to try this to see if they like this one because it does say smooth and creamy. So I'll let you guys know. Maybe it's just the oats are um used to put no artificial growth hormone okay high protein shake apple cinnamon so we will see how they like this one i thought for the fall that would be a nice little switch up to see if they liked it um and then i had went to publix after i had went to dollar tree and they had these there in a four pack for eight dollars and i got a four pack for four dollars so definitely if you're gonna try them try it from dollar tree first before you go buy a whole four pack I grabbed some more coconut, canned coconut. Y'all, this is my favorite coconut milk from Dollar Tree and it's a dollar. That's a really good deal. I make smoothies with this. I make smoothie bowls with this. I love coconut milk from Dollar Tree. And that's a really good deal for a can. I also love getting my sliced pineapples from Dollar Tree. This is in a light syrup and it is the Libby's brand. And I'm, stock, I'm slowly stocking, getting a little bit of a food stockpile. I have heard word of food shortages. So I don't know if that's true or not true. I just would rather be a little prepared than not prepared. So I am stocking up on like fruits and milks. Um, so also leads into this. I got some regular milk. This is whole milk. This milk lasts a while in your pantry. Once you open it, you do need to refrigerate it. But um, this is good until July, 2021. So just keep, if you're gonna start a stockpile slowly, um, just keep an eye on the expiration date. So I've been looking at getting rice and oats and noodles. And here's on to the noodles. Uh, the Dollar Tree always has noodles. So you can honestly start a stockpile going to the Dollar Tree and getting a little bit each week. And eventually you'll have a nice little stockpile for if we do have a food shortage. Um, so I did get some elbow macaroni. And this is good until 2023. So that's kind of the expiration date that I love. 2023 is a good one. And um, yes, this is the same. And they have this new smaller penne, Misa penne, I guess, Meza Misa. I don't know. But I got two of those. 
because I'm gonna again slowly stock up and we use pasta like crazy for Alfredo's, for pasta salads, for macaroni and cheese, for spaghetti. We use it all the time. I did find these macaroni and cheeses. I picked them up. They look really good, like the mac and cheese on it. It doesn't look like a regular box mac and cheese, but I just wanted to try it. And again, this is another staple item you can keep in your pantry that will last. And the expiration here is August to 2021. So it does have about a year, uh, yeah, another year, which is really, really good. So I grabbed two of those. Again, I'm just getting a little bit at a, sorry about that, a little bit at a time. I, sorry. <laughs> I um, also got these Hungry Jack original hash browns. This is another good item to keep in your pantry. Potatoes, carton potatoes to keep on hand. And these are really good. This feeds a family of five. It really does in this one little container and they're good they're hungry jack and the expiration on these are may 2021 so that is a good again we got about a year almost and i grabbed two of those and slowly but surely i will be stocking up on even more canned goods and things like that but this is going to just be the start of it what else do i have y'all what else oh i grabbed some more of these restful sleep melatonin i i take one of these in the evening i can't really tell if it helps i think it helps um, but I do have, I just take one gummy. It's five milligram melatonin for adults. And then I grabbed one pack of these Downy Unstoppables. So I put this in a little spray bottle like this, but a plastic one with warm water, let it melt down and I keep it in my car. I have two football players, which my car is on another level. So I keep this in there to keep it smelling okay, especially for after practices. Make sure you have something like that in your car. I also found these really cool straws. This was like in the novelty section. So it's a straw and it's in a, got a, this portable little capsule and it has the straw cleaner. So I'm all for using um, reusable straws. Like I have so many with my uh, mason jars. And so it's like a little capsule. I took off the little tape, but it's like a little capsule and you open it and it has your little cleaner. And I keep one of these cleaners right at my sink every time that I wash a straw. Um, and then here it has the silicone straw. I thought it's so cool. So they had black, white, and blue. I only picked up a black and white one. I probably should have picked up a blue one also, but that's what I did. But it's just a black silicone straw. These are good to have on hand. You never know if you need them. You could keep them in your car, especially if they forget to give you a straw when you get some fast food. But yes, I picked that up and thought it was really neat. Or you can travel with it. What else do I have here, y'all? I don't have something else. Oh, these Halloween things. I grabbed these little boxes. I don't have too much Halloween decor. I will have fall, more of a fall decor. But I will put some things out for Halloween. But these little wood boxes, y'all, are so cute. And they're wood. And they all have a little light in them. That, that works sometimes. There we go. We're gonna turn them all on. I thought it was so cute. So I picked them up, look at them. And that they change colors. So I could put this up on my um, mantle in different ways. I just love how it has a little tea lit candle at the bottom and it, it does all different colors. What I thought was so cute. So I got the witch, I got the little ghost and I got the pumpkin. So I thought that was really cute. Just something, you know, basic, just to add to the mantle. I don't really buy, too, again, too much Halloween decor, but I did pick up these just to decorate just a little bit. My kids are a lot older, but you know what? I love me some good old Halloween. And then I grabbed a couple more of these clear containers for her, Kaya's vanity for her to put her makeup in in the drawers. Um, I love these. You can use them in the kitchen, in your refrigerator. Um, in a vanity, in your bathroom drawers, wherever you need them, honey, you can use them. And when you find them, scoop them up. They go really fast. I got these for her vanity. And I think that is all, y'all. That is all. I hope y'all enjoyed this haul. And I will definitely get back with you about this new little sponge thing right here and anything else that I said I would. But I am so excited to see how this thing works. You fill it up and everything. I thought that's so unique. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check me out on Instagram. And I my next video will be a Dollar Tree Empties video. All the products that we've been using over the last month. Show you guys are my thumbs up and thumbs down items. 
And so that will be my next video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. I recorded this on the weekend. So I hope y'all have a wonderful week and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and become part of the family. Bye everyone.